my desk looks like a crapshoot because I started doing my makeup at my desk and just because I've been working out in the living room because I realized Jinx likes to get on the chair next to me and like just hang out and nap and I think it's so cute so I just work out in the living room and I move the desk and everything back in but good morning it's Friday morning it's almost 8 I've been up since like 7 I made myself a cup of coffee I fed the cats I washed my face did all the skincare and I even did like my body care I just threw on like a big sweatshirt and then sweatpants because I'm going to do my makeup a little bit and I wanted to be comfy so that's what we're that's what we're doing today I have my like headband on I'm going to wear my hair down today because I'll probably end up wearing a helmet. We're going riding today, if I didn't mention. We're going riding again today. So I'm wearing my hair down because I know it'll be easier for me to put on the helmet and then I can just braid the hair that's sticking out. And I'm wearing the headband because I don't feel like doing my edges. And I feel like it'll protect my scalp from the helmet, which I need to get my own helmet because I've been using the ones that they have. And honestly, you just don't really know. Like even if they rub them down really well, you just never really know. So I probably need to get my own helmet. But I'm trying to figure out like what I want to invest into the hobbies that I'm trying. Other than like the classes, you know what I mean? Because I found another place for tennis. That was like one other hobby that I was wanting to start. I found one place that had like this online system that you could schedule and like private lessons that you had to call and like they'd call you back. They'd never call you back. But they also had these like mini group learning sessions and I was like maybe those will be like you know good for learning how to play but I already told you guys kind of like <laughs> the lady wasn't really excited to like tell me about stuff but I found another place and it's just like I was gonna say just as far just as close like it's less than 15 minutes away and they have like the same setup like you go online and it shows you there's like a beginner and intermediate sessions it's like group sessions but it kind of like outlines you'll be like learning the basics and the beginner and then it's like four weeks and it happens like every month they said like it's a rolling four week thing which I actually need to call and ask about because I wanted to sign up for the next session but I don't see a way to do like for the next session it looks like it's only like put your card information and it'll charge you every four weeks I'm like I don't know if I want to do it you know like commit to constantly doing it like what if I only want to do it for a month I'm like a hobby hopper I have to admit like I like trying new things but that doesn't necessarily mean I'll commit to the new things you know like I think I have like commitment issues on some scale well, okay I know I do but like that's a whole other story but <laughs> I'm definitely like a hobby hopper like for sure but I also feel like life is too short to stick to a hobby like to stick to only one hobby if there is multiple that you want to try like if you find a hobby that you really like and you want to stick to, awesome. But then if you're like, I want to try a few, especially if you're trying to like budget in your hobby so you're not spending, because hobbies get expensive, so you're not spending like hundreds of dollars every month, you might want to try like a different hobby for a full month every month. Like, you know, maybe you wanted to try horse riding and you only want to try it like twice a month. Do that, you know, because I mean, hobbies can get super expensive. So like, don't feel the need to do all of the hobbies you want to try in one month like you can totally budget it out I mean if you want to try like I was saying horse riding for a month and then switch to like pottery making which I do want to try next and then switch to like tennis soccer golf I feel like right now I'm pretty dang good with what I have on my like little list so oh speaking of hobbies my freaking garden Guys, my garden is Denzo's. Like Denzo's, Denzo's. Everything except for like one tomato plant and then one random lemon tree seed that's coming up. I don't even remember planting it, but it rained the other day and then I noticed that it was growing. I'm like, if I did plant you, it was months ago, but now that's growing. But the rest of my garden quite literally got burned. And that's why I'm like thinking, I know I was following like the well, I was following nobody in the beginning, but then I started following like those charts about the location that you're in. But I don't know if they take into account that like this has been a really hot summer. Like, I don't think this summer has been in the usual. Well, I mean, we tend to go into three digits in Texas, but like, I feel like it's been very, very hot. 
this summer, even though I'm sure it's very similar with past summers. But quite literally, I think it's too hot to grow anything right now. Even though like other places are growing perfectly right now. And granted, this could just be that I'm, I suck and I have a brown thumb. But I think it's just too hot. I do want to try gardening again, but like when it cools down, because I have no idea <laughs> what was happening this summer. I mean, it's hot. It's still hot. I'm kind of thankful that I think it's like only 80 something right now, which sounds insane, but it's going to be, I think like 90. Oh, from nine to 10, it'll be like 82 to 87. So I won't break or I won't hit 90 while I'm like out there riding. Okay, there we go. I got like the, I have two merit sticks. One is tiger eye and I use it for like all over my face like I just did and the other one I got is umber and I got it for like a contour but then I also got this I think right after or in the same package it's monarch and it's like the perfect cream bronzer it just looks so good without it being super heavy and I used to be like a cream makeup hater like a complete cream makeup hater <laughs> no. but I'll say like merit definitely changed the way I look at and use cream makeup and this video is not sponsored by merit but i have worked with them in the past and i will always always be open to working with them because i like their products but where is what's happening oh, okay i want to use this brush i was like where is my foundation brush and i'm staring right at it like i definitely got makeup on this headband so we're gonna have to like figure something out i'm gonna clean it i think because i really want to wear it today because I think I'm wearing gray. I picked out an outfit to wear last night so I wouldn't have to since I was going to wake up a little bit earlier. And of course, I'm staring at the outfit I picked and I'm like, I don't really want to wear you anymore. So I don't know about that. Yeah, so garden is dead. <laughs> Tennis lessons may be coming soon. And horse riding has been nice. This will be my second time. So it'll probably take a while for me to have any like exciting updates. You know what I mean? Like... I'm definitely going to be better on timing today because I know how to get there because I think the first time I went, I don't, can't remember if I told you guys, but it like kind of took me to the wrong place and luckily the actual location was like 10 minutes away, but like I was cutting it close. Today I'm with a different instructor though. Last time I was with Chris, today I'm with Sai. Or is it Celeste? I feel like it's Celeste, but her nickname Sai because it was like, not in quotes, but in parentheses. I think it's Sai. I'm so conflicted about my hair. I have a hair appointment, like a silk press appointment uh, on my birthday actually next month. And I was like, okay, we're gonna get a silk press, see how long my hair is. But I kind of want to leave my hair twisted. I just don't know if I want to retwist it myself or just instead of doing a silk press, get my hair retwisted professionally like I did the first time. I just have no idea what I want to do. And honestly, like I like my hair like this. It's just super convenient. Since I work out a lot, I'm trying to pick up more hobbies. I don't think it'll be smart to have to do or manage a silk press. Trying to do tennis, go riding, and then now I'm taking this new Pilates class. Of course, like before when I had the silk press booked, I was like, it's my birthday, I've been getting silk presses. Let's make sure I have an appointment for my birthday. I wasn't considering that. I was gonna start picking up some new workout classes, some new hobbies that kind of require more movement. But then I also think about it sometimes like my hair is really heavy or not really heavy, but compared to just having my natural hair, it's pretty heavy. And sometimes when I'm working out at the Pilates class, it's kind of like a lot like my head gets heavy because of my hair. Because I feel like putting it in a ponytail is just a little bit too much of it splashing around. So when I put it in a bun, the bun's a bit heavy, you know? So I'm like, ooh. But then also, who's going to manage a silk press if I'm like, going to that Pilates class like two to three times a week. I mean, honestly, right now I'm going like four or five times a week, but I'm gonna like slow down the pace after I get used to it. But like going like a few times a week, riding every two weeks and then maybe starting tennis and that's like every Saturday morning. That's gonna be a lot of like movement and probably sweating. I don't know how I'm gonna manage a silk press, even as the temperature cools down, you know what I mean? I feel like straight hair suits me. And even like, if not straight, like the way my hair is right now, just long and down even though it's not straight that's what suits me i think in my opinion compared to like if i was gonna get like a curly um wig or sew-in i think it'd be cute on me but i think like straight hair in whatever kind of sense 
suits me better whether it's like a long straight silk press or long straight extensions long straight braids some of these that's just going like vertically down if that makes sense i feel like looks good on me you know okay guys this is the completed makeup look i feel like i look very fresh awake and it's not like super full coverage and heavy but i feel like it just covers me in like the best ways possible but yeah i'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna head out i'm probably gonna end up having to delete footage like once I get there or right before I go because I want to maybe film a little bit of at least me getting there and showing you guys the horses if they're okay with it but yeah let's go ride some horses I'm gonna end up regretting this but here's the outfit just have on these jeans my boots and then this crop gray hoodie and honestly I'm wearing the hoodie because it matches the headband I probably should be wearing like a short sleeve something or another I'll probably end up throwing one in my bag just in case but yeah i just i think it's cute i'm gonna regret it i know i am but it's just it is what it is i am done with my lesson the lesson was really good we rode inside and i had a different instructor her name was celeste she mentioned that i could come like 30 minutes early so i can spend like 30 minutes actually like cleaning delta and then we can ride for the full hour and I was like, that's perfect. So instead of getting here at 9, I'll get here at like 8.30, spend some time cleaning and prepping the horse. Because we still do that when I get here. We spend a few minutes brushing her. But she was like, if you come earlier, then we can kind of take care of all of her and not just like the areas that we're going to saddle. I was like, that's perfect. So I'll come a little bit earlier next time I'm here so I can take care of Delta, like all of it, make sure she's good. And I'll probably be riding Delta. I think so. I rode her the first time and I rode her again this time. She's a very sweet horse. Like she actually spooked today. And not ran off course, but like shifted off course because she got scared. We were inside the big riding area today because we didn't ride outside like the first time. And we were doing, we were going from just walking to trotting and we were doing it a few times and she was on a good trot I mean I was like my position was good I because you have to like remember a few things it's like driving how like when you first start driving you're like I'm never gonna be able to do this and then you eventually get better it's kind of like that so I was on a really good trot I was remembering to keep my heels down my hands like on the straps what are they called I forgot that the reins Jeez, had my hands on the reins and Chris was over by the truck, I think his truck or just a truck, I don't know. And he was like doing some like, I don't know, I'm not a car girly, I don't, he was doing something with the tire. And I guess it, he'd already been doing it because Celeste was like, I don't know why she spooked. It's been making that sound for a while on and off. But I guess I just didn't catch it because I was like focusing on a bunch of different things, trying to like remember while I was riding. But we were up near the railing that was closest to the car, even though the car was like a what, like a ways away. And he started up the sound and she just spooked, bless her heart. Right before that, she had taught me, Celeste had taught me what to do in an emergency. Like, God forbid, like I'm trotting or we're just like running like what would be the word for it? not trot because there's like just walking riding trotting I don't know what the third level is because we haven't gotten there so she told me and showed me what to do in an emergency like if you're running or trotting and your horse gets spooked and you need to gain like control of your horse and like stop him or her what to do and not even five minutes later we're like on this trot practicing and I had to do it because she spooked like bad like I, I knew she wasn't gonna throw me off I for some reason I I was scared enough to scream, but my heart wasn't racing, which is the weirdest thing. Cause when I get scared, my heart races. Or if I get like, if I'm watching like a stressful movie or scared, my heart always starts pounding. I mean, my heart will start pounding if I'm driving and I see people driving crazy. So I'm so surprised that audibly I was scared. Like I was like, oh, but my heart was not racing. I don't know why. Because Celeste had heard me um, yell and she saw how I like, because the way you gain control is you usually have or you should have the reins in two hands if you need to and not just like a regular stop where you pull on both reins if you're like okay we need to stop like something's about like something's happening we need you to stop like immediately you shift the reins that are in both your hands into one and then you strap up and pull it sounds confusing but when you actually do it it's like two seconds and I had to do that because she got spooked and like threw her body because I mean she's a horse she all she knows is preserve life like preserve my life she ain't think about me and that's okay 
<laughs> that is okay. Bless her heart. And to gain kind of control and to calm her, you start making circles. So you kind of pull her into a circle with your hands in that kind of like frames in one hand strap down and then you pull her into a circle and then eventually the circle gets smaller so that she kind of like has room to calm down. I didn't need to do the circling because as soon as I pulled her, I think like she was like, okay, I'm safe. She just, the sound scared her because she was mid trot and I think it was like we were getting good on a trot. So we weren't like full trot where she was kind of like focused. It was like, all right, all right, I'll start trotting. Okay, I'll start trotting. And then she heard the sound. She was like, okay, I'm done trotting. I'm done trying. So very interesting experience. I'm thankful that I got to experience it in a closed instructor-led area. Because if I was, I don't know, let's say trailing, I doubt I would get to that point without taking some type of lesson. But let's say I was like trailing without an instructor, didn't really know what to do. If worst case scenario, my horse was like, I'm scared, I'm running, or I'm about to like toss everything. I'm maybe not, I don't think I would have been as internally calm because like I said I screamed like Ooh! but internally I was fairly calm I don't know why I'm gonna be thinking about this all day because it's like I just yeah I like screamed I guess maybe to alert and I shouldn't have because I'm sure that didn't help with her but I think it was just like a gut reaction of like what is happening I think maybe as I get more comfortable with Delta and she gets more comfortable with me like we'll be able to like sense like you're a good girl you know what I mean? Because there's also like when I'm riding and I'm trotting and I feel like I'm losing balance, I don't really trust her to like avoid hitting things or avoid like, because there's a few obstacle things on the indoor one too. It's not like the outdoor one that had like a lot of like different platforms and stuff. This one had a few, but I'm like, I don't know her to trust that she won't like just run into one of them and then we all just like take a tumble. And then she also doesn't know and trust me to keep her safe like to not allow her to run into things because there's they trust who they're you know who's leading them and I think over time it'll be more like we'll build a connection you know what I mean just kind of like you do with your pets that you have at home I want to see if there's a goodwill here maybe I can get a few shirts just like nice shirts not nice nice shirts but like t-shirts that I could wear outside that I don't mind riding it and like getting a little dirty but like still look nice because I have some big t-shirts at home but they're not like walk outside friendly they're like just lounge and sleep in these t-shirts don't go and like do stuff in them you know what I mean because they look dingy <laughs> and maybe like some jeans I want to see if I can find like quality jeans at a thrift store which I think I can I see it all the time but like I don't know how our like goodwills here are because I watch people's like hauls and TikToks of like thrift store haul and I'm like, what? where are you shopping? Because that looks amazing. <laughs> but I also haven't gone to a thrift store except for that one I took you guys to in a while. And that one was a smaller one so they didn't really have like a big clothes selection. I was thinking maybe I could find a Goodwill. I haven't gone to a Goodwill in so long and my hands are so ashy. Y'all, I'm so sorry if my hands were ashy this whole time and y'all are just like, girl. Guys, they have a crap ton of flannels. I was looking for flannels last time. I was at, not here, but the other thrift store. Oh, look at this one. Six bucks. Oh my gosh. It's kind of small though. I'm in the men's section. I think large would be the biggest size I can get for men's tops. In case it shrinks up a little bit. Oh, I love this one. What size are you? Oh, it's small. But do you think that's too small? I don't think so. I mean, probably actually. I'm in the small section. Let me see what large has. Oh, I like this one. This one's a large and it's thick. Six dollars. Guys, look at this. I have like nothing from UTSA, even though I did go there. And look at this cute little sweatshirt. It's like extra large. I kind of want to get it, just for the fact that it's UTSA. How cute. There's nothing on the back. I kind of want it. Should I get it? For the sake of it just being like memorabilia from college. Okay. Also, my cart is insane because we found a few things. I have so much to try on. I feel like I hit the jackpot, assuming everything like fits or looks good. I found some jeans, a skirt a lot of men's flannels which I'm so excited for because I've been wanting some more flannels 
and then I have some t-shirts long sleeves and then some sweaters for like winter or fall coming up and they're all like six dollars each which is crazy because I'm in love with this one right here I haven't even tried it on but I just know I'm gonna love it <laughs> like I just love this I don't know why I just I've always wanted a sweater like this and I don't want to pay like two hundred dollars on three people it has like a stain and stuff but I wonder I feel like I get it out like letting this soak I'm gonna clean all the things that I get but let's try some stuff on because we cannot be here all day. This is my pile of yeses and then my pile of noes and then one shirt on the bench. Unfortunately, I just, it was just too big. Even though it's cute, it just didn't work. But that dress over there, the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna try everything on for you guys when I get home. But yeah, let me kind of pick up over here and then I'm gonna put stuff back. Even though they say you can leave it in the room, I just, I have too many things I'm not going to get to just feel comfortable leaving it here. So I'm going to put everything back and then skedaddle. I feel like I hit the jackpot in there. I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I got. I am going to go to Target right now and grab some stain remover and probably like some in-wash scent beads just so that I can clean all this stuff properly. Because at home I have like laundry pods and then the dryer sheets, but a lot of these things I'm just going to hang dry. So I want to make sure they're getting like super clean and stain free in the washer. I just ran inside of Target and grabbed some Incense Wash Boost. And this is like my favorite scent. Even though I'm not the biggest like lavender scent person, even though I buy it in everything, like all purpose cleaner everything, this is one lavender scent that I actually really enjoy. I feel like I just buy lavender because it's safe. I got some OxyClean. Yeah, OxyClean stain remover. It's for laundry and just like fabric and upholstery which is awesome i'm gonna try on every single thing that i picked up from goodwill i think i got like 11 12 things for like 65 dollars it was like 64 something and i rounded up to donate to their charity but yeah i'm very excited because i love everything and i have my stain remover my incense wash boost thing so i'm definitely gonna use it and I'm gonna hang dry everything. So I'm gonna try to air dry things a lot more often, especially sweaters and stuff, cause I like them to be oversized. I don't want any of this to shrink. So let's try on this first, the little flannel. And I only got one because I noticed the other one had a rip in it. So disappointed. Here's the first one. And I actually really love this. I tried on two others. One I wasn't really a fan of, and then the other one I liked had a hole in it. And I just, yeah, so that one I couldn't fix. But here's this flannel. It's like this dark gray, kind of blue. I really like this just for throwing on over outfits like this when I want to layer even though it's hot just because if I run into a store I get cold but then if I'm outside boom so I really like this and I'm honestly just going to drop it into a pile on the floor because everything's getting a good wash I'm not putting anything on the bed they're all like hanging here here's this big gray shirt but hear me out I tried it on in the dressing room and it goes like all the way down to kind of my knees I had this with like no pants. Like, let me actually show you. Okay, so this is the look I was kind of going for. This super oversized gray tee with shorts underneath that you can't see. And then my boots. For when it like starts to cool down. But it's not like super cold and it's not super hot. Like, because this is fairly thick. This is like a fairly thick long sleeve and it's huge on me. But I like love this look where it's like when it starts to cool down I could have shorts on. Let's say I was going to go hang out like at one of the outdoor spots near me. I could throw on like Converse and just kind of go with shorts on. So I love, I was going for very oversized clothing, if you couldn't tell. I definitely got makeup on this, but here's this one. It's this huge oversized gray, kind of like olive green, like a light wash olive green sweater. I had to roll up the sleeves like three times and it's still super long, but I also got this to wear with like boots. Like, isn't that kind of cute? Just have it on. This has an oversized sweater dress with pants or shorts under because it's honestly it falls at a great height but if it were to shrink a little bit I don't think it would work but just like little shorts that maybe are like peeking out and then oops like love this as a mini dress it's so cute I just about died when I put this on I think this is the cutest sweater dress ever I'm on my tippy toes so you guys can see all the way around this is so cute I mean oh my goodness and I have on my boots, of course, still. And that's kind of how I was thinking about wearing it. Like this cute little sweater dress in the fall winter with boots on. Isn't that so cute? Here's what the back looks like. Let's see, I 
think you can see all of it. I just saw it and I was like, I have to try it on at least, just to see. And it just ended up being so stinging cute on me. Like, I love this so much. I honestly wouldn't think this was my style on first look, but I'm so glad I tried it on because it just ended up looking, in my opinion, great on me. Here is the next top that I got, or sweater top. It's like a fairly thin half zip. And everything that I got is from the men's section except for the dress. I feel like I hit the jackpot today for like pre-fall slash fall clothing. Here is the next one. It's another half zip. It's like maroon. And again, I have it like tucked in the front and then draped over. I think it's like perfect. These like little half zips are perfect with high-waisted jeans because I feel like they just look so nice tucked in. But this isn't like a maroon color and it's fairly thick. Like, oh, it's like Perfect guys. I'm just so happy right now. I feel like I did good. Here's the next one. It's not a half zip It's like a half button because you can button it all the way up if you wanted to But it's another like sweater half zip half button. I just yeah, and I love the color the, like charcoal gray. I just love neutrals or like little muted pops of color like that maroon color I think is gonna be so nice because it's not super bright because that's just not really me and how I like to dress but it has like you know a little bit of color even with like the pale green I feel like that's nice too here is the jacket I love this jacket I think it's like the quilting and just like the overall look it's giving very like cabin ranch vibes I love this and it has pockets and this is a men's jacket too I think it's actually a medium because it's not that oversized actually yeah it's a medium I actually got like three kind of like half button t-shirts and definitely oversized. I think this is a large too. But like tucking it up front, I feel like just adds shape to your figure in a really nice way. Like, so you know that it's oversized and it's meant to be without it like drowning you. So this is that one. And of course, I love the charcoal gray color. I just love this color on me. This is such a random color for me, like green. It's very Christmas green. But I really like the little button, half button thermal style shirts, especially for fall. I feel like be really nice I can layer this very easily I probably need to get a vest or I know I do want to get a vest I can throw over shirts like this that are long sleeve and a little thick for when it's like cool but not cold enough for a jacket but not hot enough to be without another layer so yeah this is the last one and again another like half button thermal shirt I think this one's a little bit bigger than the last one I think this is like a large and the other one was like a medium yeah but this is kind of like in a pale pink color I thought it was more tan in the store, but in like natural lighting, it looks more like beigey, slight pink. That is everything that I got. I'm gonna throw everything, including this top, into the washer with the, well, I'm gonna spray some stuff with the little stain remover, then throw it into the wash with the like Incent Boost, like two, three game pods or Tide Pods, and shower, because I, you can tell like my face is all oily, and I'm sure I got some makeup on some of this clothes, so yeah. Happy Saturday everyone. It's like 11.30 in the morning and I just left my Pilates class. I had a really good time. Very difficult today. Like my quads were not happy today. I mean, they don't hurt like it's gonna be bad. They were definitely sore though. But they didn't feel sore up until I got into some of the movements and I was like, oh, so this is the type of day. This is the morning we're gonna have. But it was a good class nonetheless. Um, I was with Megan or Megan was teaching today. I love her music choices. Like she has really good taste in music and today was just like old school R&B day and I love it. I, it was really, really nice. Today, we need to get groceries. I mean, I have like one piece of tilapia <laughs> and then frozen chicken tenders. Like we don't, we don't really have much at home. And I think this week for breakfast or coming up, this week coming up, I think I wanna make like eggs blackstone, which is basically like country bread, tomatoes, a bacon, I think like some seasonings like chives and stuff like that I think I want to make that for breakfast or I want to make this other thing from the cookbook that I got the breakfast Bible from William Sonoma I'll link it down below it's like a bagel with egg and tomato which it doesn't sound like a lot which is good you want your breakfast to be fairly simple so I was thinking one of those two things I think I might go with the 
the bagel, egg, and tomato one. Because I don't know if I feel like having bacon. Even though I like bacon, it's just I don't feel like messing with it this week. Like having to cut, prep it, and then, no, don't really feel like it. But I also want to go to Nordstrom Rack and see if I can find some jeans. Because I tried to find some jeans yesterday at the thrift store and couldn't find any. There were some... It's hard for me to wear jeans. I can't just really order jeans online because because I have, I'm petite, but I have a very small waist and I have a bit of a bum, I do get those jeans. And I know a lot of women have this issue where like it gaps at the waist, like it fits your butt, but it doesn't fit your waist. And I hate that. And that's honestly how like a lot of jeans fit me. And I like, that's usually why I get like high rise jeans that are like the stretchy because then it'll fit my waist and then my bum will be fine, like the jeans I wore yesterday. I have a favorite pair of Free People jeans. They're the light wash denim high rise boot cut. So cute. I mean, I love them. The quality is amazing. And I found them at Nordstrom Rack a few years ago. I think they were like $50 instead of being like 100 and something. But my camera is overheating. I just saw the little notification. So yeah, let's, let's get a move on found some contenders. I'm very excited to try them on, especially because they're just pants. It's gonna be super easy to just throw them on over, oh, probably not over my leggings actually because then I wouldn't actually know the true fit. But I'm gonna try on all of the pants really quickly. And I found these two shirts, but honestly after going to the thrift store and getting a bunch, or well, three shirts, I was talking about these two and then this kind of like thick button up. But after going to the thrift store, I'm kind of like, these would be $6 at the thrift store. They're like 20 and then I think this is 40, 30. But still, I'll try it on and we'll see. Luckily, this workout today was not like a crazy sporty day, so I don't feel bad about trying on stuff. If it was, I don't think I'd be here, honestly, because I just, yeah. These jeans are so cute, but look at this. And this isn't even the worst one, honestly. Let's see. <laughs> they like gap at the back. Like all of these so far that I've tried on, gap at the back like really bad this is like the best pair that doesn't gap so much but the good american jeans actually fit really well like everywhere else except for that gap and they they feel like really nice quality if they had like the this part tighter i feel like i would have instantly bought both pairs that i tried on but yeah because i actually really like this even though like this is the style <laughs> they're not like super short i really like this a lot but it's just a back gap and I'm not really a belt wearer, so I don't really want to buy a belt just to buy these jeans, you know? Even though they're very cute, like the way it sits right here, beautiful. These are the only ones that don't gap that badly. I mean, they still gap, but like, it's not super, super bad compared to the others. But I don't love this one enough to get it, so it's just like... <laughs> Alright guys, we're back in the car, and I actually went... Okay, that's... That's blowing really loud. It's hot though, but I went inside of Col There's just a lot going on. I went inside of Columbia the little Not little but the like jacket sweatshirt. It's like North Face basically I don't even think there's a North Face. I don't think there's a North Face over here But I went into Columbia because I wanted to see if they had the vest that I wanted online. They're not super expensive they were i think online like 40 30 40 dollars in store they were actually on sale for like 22 dollars or 21.99 which is really nice so i got one gray one and one black in the men's section size small i'll try them on when i get home i was checking out with two other like jackets like these thin jackets in the women's section and i was just gonna get like two one black one tan or like beige in size i think medium just because they were on sale too and i was like okay little like lightweight jackets that I can throw on and maybe like layer when it starts to get cold but I saw this jacket that someone had like left behind or not wanted I asked the guy checking me out and he was like this one's a size like small because I wanted oversized he was like but we have a bunch in the back so he brought out one and it was a thicker jacket it's like this dark bluish gray with like brown detailing I thought it was super cute I tried it on it was like a size large and it was perfect a little oversized but that's kind of what I wanted for layering and just because honestly I really like the oversized look especially when it gets cold out or it starts to cool down so I decided to get that jacket instead of the two like thinner kind of like cheaper ones there there were okay they the quality was kind of like and he was like yeah they're kind of like just cheaper jackets you can get and throw on on top of like a workout set or something but they're always here and I was like okay let me get the one that's a little bit thicker 
and like better quality so I got that jacket so I got a jacket for fall winter I think I should be fine with all the other jackets I have this one is more of like a sporty jacket that I can throw on if I'm gonna go riding if I'm gonna go like play tennis when I sign up and it's a little chill outside I think this jacket will be fine because it's it's a little thick without being too thick so I think it'll transition really well and then the two vests will be perfect over something like this like I threw it on in store to try on over this and it looks good I have my favorite oat milk ice cream on sale the oatly one and I just audibly gasped because look look at this they have mini cups of the oatly it's six of them and it's like 11 bucks which is crazy but I'm gonna get it and this is everything that I got. So starting over here, I got some organic red potatoes because I might want to make mashed potatoes this week with the steak that I got. And then I have some organic broccoli florets for green this week. And then I have three, these are like organic tomatoes on a vine. I got this for breakfast and then also for, actually just for breakfast. I thought I got them for something else, but I want to try, it's a recipe from the cookbook. It's super simple. It's just like a bagel with a fried egg and then tomato, super simple. So I want to have that for breakfast. And I got some organic jasmine rice because I always need jasmine rice. I think I'm running low. By low, I mean like half the container is full. I have two packs of organic spaghetti because I do want to make some more lemon butter pasta. It's just, it's so good. It's like my favorite pasta sauce that I can make. Honestly, it's like the only one I make but I just love it. So I got two packs of organic spaghetti. I got two of these Justin's kind of like peanut butter cups. Yeah, they were on sale like two for $3 or something at checkout. So I was like, let me get this and put it in the fridge in case I want a chocolate or something sweet tonight. And then I got some organic bagels for having with the tomatoes and egg. And then also I got some cream cheese that I can throw on top as well. And then these were on sale, these two, and I think a few other of their flavors. They have these Kettle brand potato chips. I got backyard barbecue and then the regular salt. I got those two for like snacks when I'm craving something a little salty. And then I have this bone in beef ribeye steak. And then I have this garlic pepper pork sausage. They were having a sampling and this is so good. Like so, so good. There was another one that they had too, but this one was on sample and it was really good. So I got the pack. I was thinking I could have this on top of the lemon butter pasta. And instead of doing it with chicken like I did last time, I can do it with the pork. And then I got two organic red onions. They were having a sale on it and I always just like to have red onions since I've been cooking with them a lot more. Then I got four lemons for the lemon butter pasta. Honestly, I should have gotten a little bit more, but it's okay, I can always go back to the store. And then I got, which I didn't even realize this one was bruised, but I got four organic nectarines. Yeah, I try to get the ones that are super, super hard. I realize they get soft and once they get soft, I don't really like eating them. Honestly, they're not as enjoyable. So I just got four. And then these were on sale too. It was this 18 count of organic eggs. It's like $6 instead of I think eight or nine from this brand. And then over here, I got some cream cheese. Even though I got the vegan cream cheese, I got this just in case I don't like that on top of the bagel because I only tried it in my pasta so I didn't really get to taste it on its own. And then I got some more of this Miyoko's oat milk butter. I like this one. I tried it last time when I got it from Target. It's pretty good. They didn't have the crock country crock one. I think it's only at ATB, like not even Central Market has it. But I got this for my vegan butter. And then I got this Greek yogurt. I don't think I've ever tried this brand. It's Stonyfield Greek yogurt. And then this I saw in store. And I know that they came out with this a while ago, but it hasn't been at my Whole Foods and I just saw it today. It's the Oatly mini cups. And I'm so excited to try this. I love the Oatly ice cream. I usually get the strawberry oat milk one but this one is vanilla. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Whole Foods. Not a super big haul. I don't think I forgot anything. I'm gonna put everything away and then finish eating the pasta that I got. I got some, I forgot what it's actually called. Just like their cold pasta from the deli bar. I just got a little bit and then I put some ham on top and it's been pretty good. I got this Olipop to have with my pasta salad when I was eating in the car. 
and I don't hate it. And as a stevia hater, I think that's saying a lot. I actually like this. It said it was one of their new ones. There was also like a watermelon lemon that was new. But I figured ginger ale, I mean, it's like a classic flavor that other soda brands make. I mean, the soda brands make. So I was like, listen, okay, this is like my best shot as someone who doesn't like stevia. You know what I mean? So I got this and it's actually pretty dang good. I would actually buy this again. I'm also gonna try on the jacket and two vests that I got from Columbia so you guys can kind of see what they look like and how they fit. This is the first vest. It's a men's small. So it's definitely oversized. It fits over like my oversized flannel that I wore today really nicely, honestly. This is like the gray color and it says $40 on the tag but they were having a sale like $21.99 for vests and then like a few jackets. So this is the gray one. Here's the back. Yeah, I think it's so nice. I love the oversized look for fall. Here is the black one. So oversized two fits about the same. I think maybe it'll shrink down a little bit when I like wash and dry it. Even though I probably will just hang dry it like the rest of the sweaters and stuff that I got so they can last longer and so they don't shrink. Here's the back for this one. Here is the jacket that I got. It's this kind of, it's like a gray blue color. In the store it looked a little bit darker, but in person it's like, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, you see it's like definitely blue, but it's kind of like the gray, grayish blue. I like it. I like it a lot and I love the brown detailing on it. I like love the brown detailing here where it says Columbia and then also the zipper is brown too. So it adds kind of like warm to the little blue cool tone but I have it on over the flannel too. And I tried it on just now with just like my sports bra, so I know that it's gonna be a little oversized when I'm not wearing like an oversized shirt right under it, but it fits really well. Like I actually really like how this fits, even with it being large, cause this is a woman's large. I think like a jacket like this and layering will be perfect. I could even throw a vest over this with like a nice thick shirt underneath if I was really, really cold and just like keep the layers going with like a scarf. Definitely boots, I feel like this will look really nice with any of my boots, honestly. My cowboy boots because of the brown. It's just, yeah, I like it. I'm glad I went with like a neutral color. Even though it's like blue, it's very, it's like a blue that can work with a lot, you know? So I'm really happy about that. So I'm very happy with, honestly, this little haul, like this pre-fall jacket vest shopping and my thrifting haul. I feel like I got some really good things this week. I'm really happy. Now that I'm back in my thrifting, thrifting bubble, I'm really happy about that. I'm so glad. I'm gonna keep going back to that thrift store every so often because I feel like I hit the jackpot. Like my first time and I got like 10 things, I think I did good. I think that's a good Goodwill.